second run. Shouldn't be a problem. We got it figured out. We redid the uh, e-box, which had bounced off. So. It's really heavy. It does not have a reverse yet, but it will have eventually. Thank you. So we gotta get her flipped around. Here, I'll, I'll this way. And we're gonna see what happens here. If for some reason it doesn't crank, then we will uh, be doing something else. We're cruising.
right there. He's struggling with it. So it's pretty cool, huh? You should be glad to see it. There's a few new homes out here. You gonna drive? You wanna keep driving? All right, go. Take us for a run. Just don't throw me out, okay? Or you'll be all by yourself. Oh, you can see me in his glasses. to uh yeah junior wants to come up with a name for our boat this is what we do Skeeter. when she's tired we take her for a little walk come on come on girl There's a boat oh man Don't want to hit. hmm someone trying to be all fancy with a fancy boat uh, yeah i guess this is the end of our uh journey. drive around ain't it we can just tie right here yeah we will so what do y'all think cool huh it's not taking on as much water as i thought it was uh, the plug did not fit here hold that please the plug didn't fit real well in the back so i kind of 
I redid it and uh, that's a little snugger so it's not going to fill up with water now as bad. Then you got to put your decals on the side and since I've never done that before it's not in the right format but you got to just be patient. I mean it's in the right order it's just not a, in the right 242 pattern. Anyway, enough of that. That's a sweet it's little rack. Yeah, it's got he's so, he's impressed. It does it has doors and uh, everything. It's pretty cool. I smell barbecue. When you're really tired. We had to go get some sunscreen for our people. We got some competition that pulled up. I don't know what sizes those things are, but. I, have, I don't know hardly any better thing about jet skis. I think I've ridden a jet ski once in my life. Once in your life, you'll find her. Someone who turns your heart around. <laughs> Watch out for that pole. So this is where we are. Bucks Barbecue Bait and Tackle. That's BBB at. Actually, it's BB Bat. All right, so we're walking here, and I, and I looked up, and I thought, oh, no. Our boat is gone. Then I remembered the time we fell in love. Somebody put it down there in the water. There's old Skeeter. Let's see if it, uh, I don't have any more water in. All right, jump down there, son. Remember, go centered and don't go flippy flop. Don't go spaghetti leg. There you go. Still, oh yeah, do the double dance. Flip it up. This? Yeah. Let's just make sure nothing's, <laughs> nothing's on fire. Here, come down here to visit. She's doing good. Yeah, right. Pull it on back. Let me look from a, from afar. So that's a Kawasaki 750. Yeah, that's the air intake. And if you look under that, that's a choke. And he had a uh, oil. No, that's a, that's just another port for the electronics box. And you see, that is the entire engine. That little bitty tiny Kawasaki thing. And he gave me a spare with it. Which runs that he said, and all this is all the uh, intake and outtake. There's better words for it than that. And when I grow up, I'm gonna learn them too. So anyway, I close that. But what we don't know is how to know when you run out of gas you don't because I can't see through the uh, tank. Well, you can. Yeah, you can open that. But look in there, son. It does a little curvature. You see any gas in there? It curves. I told you it curves. How are we supposed on. to tell? I don't know how we tell. I guess. I hear it in there. The best way to know when you're out of gas is it ain't gonna go anywhere. So like I was showing you while I was hauling on the water, down is left and up is right. This is supposed to be on your arm in case you fly out of the boat. It shuts it off. That is oil. He told me what kind to use, but that's all I had. Walmart has taken all their boating stuff and shoved it in the, uh, nobody wants to play that game anymore. In the, in the backwater. And all that will kick out of here when we start driving. Yeah, that's a lot of water. Thank you. Yeah. This place is getting busy. It's about to get crunk over here.
back. We're gonna take a break. But we're waiting to get gasoline. But the problem is everybody beats us there. So every time we get close, somebody flies in front of us. So we're just gonna have to like tool up and get in line. <laughs> About two hours in or more now, and she's running like a doggone new Subaru. I love her. Alright, we just fed, we're done. We're in now. That is a sweet looking pontoon boat right there. So again, you look around the corner and it looks like our boat's gone. We're back on the water, of course. It took 2.8 gallons for two hours of uh, riding so far. We were worried, so we got a good 10 hours of play date left. Let's see, one, two, three, about four hours. Yeah, that's fine, son. We're done, about four hours on the water today unbelievable and of course i forgot to pull the drain plug when i was taking it out so it'll have to drain as we're pedaling but there's the setup pretty straightforward little booger ain't it so that's it i want to show you this beauty we're done i'm gonna strap her down i can take her back to the base camp thanks for watching my videos Bye-bye. The Bucks Barbecue and whatever else.